everyone welcome to my channel or welcome back um, here to do everything that I melted this week so my empties and my unempties yes with my <laughs> new hair so um, spent a grueling four and a half hours in the chair this afternoon getting the hair changed over um, I've decided that every six months I'll probably do something new and different because why not it's fun um, <laughs> I laugh about it being grueling but honestly I sat there and I still wear like a, a mask when I, um, you know, spend time indoors with people that aren't family and, um, you know, sitting there for four and a half hours with the mask on, like not drinking, not eating, I sort of, because I had my appointment at 12, I kind of had to scoff a quick bit of sushi, so at the end of it, honestly, I had the worst headache, like I was just, probably some of the fragrances and stuff as well, um, so it actually did feel quite taxing, um, but I'm all good, I'm here um, and I'm ready to talk about the wax. So, um, I have not many empties. I'm really not doing well with getting through my empties at the moment. Um, I don't know. I just pick what I like to melt. I'm sure by the end of the season, some things will start to be, you know, there's a few things at the moment that are just right for the season at the moment, and I have more of it, and I will keep melting it, you know, as the season progresses, and then hopefully by the time spring comes, I'll sort of be finishing off a lot of that stuff. So, anyway, that's the theory. So um, I finished this scoop of Boom Boom Cream Type uh, with Palo Santo and Don't Cross Dreams from L3. This is going down in my lounge room at the moment. I do really like this one. It's pretty much just like a woody, slightly sort of smoky woody Boom Boom, like, which I like because Boom Boom I'm a little bit done with in wax, but I do, I did enjoy it with the Palo. Like, I still love the Boom Boom scent. I still literally wear the body spray most days like it's still one of my favorite body care scents but i just in wax yeah i'm kind of done with it but yeah the woodiness in here was really nice i don't know if i noticed don't cross cross streams i think maybe it waters down the um some of the like the slight floral aspect of um that boom boom has because yeah i suppose it's a bit more of a vanilla kind of body cream but anyway it's a really good scent i don't think i need to get it again um but i did enjoy it and it did throw quite strongly Uh, pumpkin pecan waffle. I do apologize if I, you know, I'm still getting used to my hair myself, so it's probably going to catch, um, you know, catch my eye every now and then. So this is Rose Girls Pumpkin Pecan Waffles Donut Holes and Vanilla Crunch Donuts. So this one is, um, a good scent, but quite light, I thought. Um, I think it was in the Halloween sampler last year. I mean, I like all of those things, but... It's a nice kind of sweet and bakery scent, but yeah, it was it was light. So um, yeah, that one I wouldn't purchase. Ella After Wax Co. is very superstitious, so I don't know what the scent notes to this are, and I couldn't look it up. Um, the vendor actually removed me from her group a while ago, so um, yeah. Uh, I think it's just pumpkin. It's pumpkin pecan waffles and something. I don't know what else. Maybe a slight touch of like an apple or a, like a spiced apple or something, but it's mostly pumpkin pecan waffles. I don't really smell it. Like here, smelling the bag, I can kind of smell like a slight apple cinnamony type thing, but melting, it was really just pumpkin pecan waffles. Um, yeah, it was it was actually nice and it threw, but it wasn't particularly special. Like it was just kind of pumpkin pecan waffles. Um, I when I used to purchase from Ella after in the past, I found that. It would throw well for about two hours and then it would disappear. This one probably lasted for maybe four, so probably better than most of the Ella After I've tried. Um, it's not something I would purchase because I'm just I'm the, I don't purchase from Ella After, but it was not a bad set. Uh, L3 a blueberry cheesecake, blueberry muffin, cream cheese, frosting, waffle cone, and sugared lemon. So I actually did this in both. Um, the bag and my own custom because um, I wanted to compare them now I felt like of the last piece of this versus my custom that the lemon is stronger in my custom than it was in the that was a bitty bitty loaf and I do still think that was the case but I couldn't validate it when they were melting because this one was really light this time I don't know what happened to it it's only 
not even a year old. It was stored fine. I don't know. But yeah, I had, I had it throw, melting up here in my office and I couldn't smell this one. But I could smell my custom bag. So um, I don't know what that was about. I know I used to really love this one. It was a really awesome blueberry cheesecake scent with just a hint of lemon. Um, so I really liked it in the past. But this time around, yeah, not strong enough. Um, but this one, my custom is really good. I do wish it was more like the previous version. So just less lemony like my the first this bitty betty really was light on the lemon compared to this but still i really do like this and this doggy bag does throw strongly i'm hoping that it doesn't fade this is not a sign that it's going to fade the way that the betty bitty betty loaf did but anyway i really enjoy it i don't know if i'm going to repurchase it after this bag but um, i am still enjoying that scent and then the last empty is um touch uh, orange tea and crumpets creamy zucchini bread so this is ebony violet this i really really love so orange tea and crumpets i've been a fan of for a long time i think if you like tea and cakes um orange tea and crumpets is a really good one to try it is a much stronger orange tea scent like i really smell like like citrus oil or something like it's like black tea but steeped in oranges it's really strong I don't get a crumpets note. Like, I do not get a bakery note from that scent. It's all about the orange tea and, um, oh yeah, the orange tea, basically. So the scent on its own is really good, and I have a loaf of it, but it does it does get a bit much sometimes. It's very strong. Um, so this works really well because the zucchini bread just kind of, it dials it down a bit, but, you know, it doesn't make it less strong. It just makes the orange tea a little bit less intense. The bakery's amped up. It's creamy. It's... It's so good. So this I prefer to just orange tea and crumpets on its own. Um, I've already gone through like I think a souffle of this and a couple of shot cups. So I've already melted a fair bit of this. But I still would repurchase it. It's a really, really strong throwing scent. And I just love it. I might just have to get, if Ebony Violet ever pours her zucchini bread on its own. Because I still have a bag, like half of a, maybe a third of a loaf left of the orange tea and crumpets. And I haven't been reaching for that as much. I probably just need to blend it with zucchini bread. I don't know if I'll be able to get Ebony Violet zucchini bread. She does have a good one. Um, but maybe, I think I've got some zucchini bread coming from L3. So maybe I'll just use some L3 zucchini bread to get through the rest of that. Um, just a sec. I hate it. I feel like my nose is all like red. <laughs> so I have had a bit of a runny nose this afternoon. So um, that's fine. Um, Alright, so unemptied. So I have Redwood Forest from Pumpkin Parcel. I really like this one. It is a really nice uh, tree-like scent. It has like a kind of citrusy note to it. I feel like a lot of Redwood Forest, Redwood scents tend to do that. Yeah, I feel like I get a really sharp kind of pine note and like some camphor and like a citrusy kind of thing. But that just seems to be like what Redwood scents smell like to me. So... Really enjoy it. Really good throw. I think I have purchased this before, and I probably would again. It is a really good one to get close to home. Uh, Super Tarts Alien. So this is uh, apple cider, vanilla bean, and donuts. This one, I really like it, but it's... <sighs> once it, There was one time I melted it where it smelled soapy. This time it did smell soapy, so I think that was just my nose being weird. Um, but it always smells like quite a bright, fruity apple, like... Like, it kind of smells like apple cider, but I don't know. It just, yeah, it just smells, it smells like something I would almost be more happy melting in the summer. Like, it just doesn't really feel like a, like a cozy apple bakery. It feels like a zingy bright kind of apple. So I don't mind it. I feel like the bakery aspect could be stronger. Maybe that would kind of anchor it a bit. Um, so I do enjoy it, but I don't know if it's going to be a repurchase. It throws quite strongly, but yeah, it's just, yeah, it's just one that doesn't quite, I don't know, it doesn't quite feel right. I don't know. Uh, Beard Life from Super Tarts. So this is um, shaving cream, red apple, vanilla bean, ocean breeze, and cologne. So um, this is like the omen with shaving cream and cologne. I can't remember what this was before. I know it would have been a blend. I'm sure it's a very popular, well-known one, but I never really got into the omen blends. I enjoyed this. So I'm cold. I mostly smell that ocean breezes and apple scent. Like, I get that from most of those 
uh, blends that have that scent that used to be called the Omen. Um, but I do know when this, this was melting, it took me a while. I had it in the bedrooms and it took me a while to figure out, like, I forgot what I was melting, which I tend to do. And it took me a while to figure out what I was melting. Because it definitely had more of a masculine lean, like the fruitiness was more in the background. So yeah, I definitely think the cologne and the shaving cream come out more. I couldn't tell you exactly what that combo smelled like other than just kind of masculine. Um, but the fruitiness in there was quite nice. So I think I quite liked it. It was not a bad bedroom scent. Um, I'm not sure at this stage if it would be a repurchase. It was quite strong. Um, but I, I liked it. Uh, Supertouch Wardrobe. So this is uh, Lavender, Laundry, Rain, Kumquats and Orange Zest. So... I've avoided this one in the past because of the lavender and the laundry, but I feel like I've just decided that anything with her rain, I will try at least once. I just want to, I love her rain oil so much that I need to try her rain oil in everything. And I thought that or Kumquat's orange zest and rain sounded pretty good. So, and I do, I do think I liked it. Um, like I can definitely smell the rain, but the, the orange zest, I think in the Kumquat's is more forward. Because, yeah, this is more zingy, but then there's almost like a, there's, there's definitely like a powdery aspect to it, whether that's the lavender and the laundry together, but it's not overpowering. It's just, it reminds me a little bit of the powdery note in Lush Supernova, um, which I think sometimes when you do citrus and laundry, sometimes maybe you get that. I don't know. Maybe I'm making that up. But there is that really beautiful freshness from her rain in behind it, stopping it from being yet yeah, too clean, too powdery. Like, so yeah, I did quite like this one. I did it in my bedrooms as well. It threw really strongly. This one is possibly a repurchase. It doesn't feel like one I need in big quantities, but I do think that I would continue to melt this one. I did like it. I did a bit of pumpkin parcel this week, so I did uh, Roger McKenzie. This one is plum pudding and black tea. I had to change this one out. Um, something in it smelled really sour. I don't know what it was, but I did not like it. The plum or something. Because I can smell the black tea note here, and that doesn't smell sour, but this did. So yeah, I had to change that one out. It was throwing strongly, but not a repurchase. Uh, Murtaugh Fitzgibbons. I've probably pronounced that wrong. Uh, so this one was... Gosh. has a cognac note. It has coconut, marshmallow, hint of smoke, and something else. This one I liked. Um, I feel like it's got it's got quite a bit of this coconut, marshmallow, and cognac. Like I get booze and marshmallows the most, and I don't know why, but booze and marshmallows actually smell pretty good together. Especially because cognac is kind of deep. It's got like a citrusy kind of vibe going on in it, so I I quite like that. And the smoke in this is really good too. So this is a really nice blend. Um, this one through solid medium, I'd say, maybe medium high. Um, so I would only do it in small spaces. I did it up here in my office. I probably wouldn't do it any, in any of my open spaces. Um, it, this one's possibly a repurchase. I did really enjoy this. Uh, Haunted House from Pumpkin Parcel. So this one is... I was looking at this just before to remind myself. Um... I know it had like old dusty house, black, uh, black current. It had black current cognac, maybe or some. Maybe I'm confusing that with the alcohol in the last one. It definitely had like a black current booze scent, and um, I feel like a citrus as well. It's kind of hard for me to say because it is light. Um, it smells nice. I'm kind of smelling like a slightly citrusy cologne and a bit of a kind of dusty books scent. But it is quite light in my in the bedrooms. So, and that's why I haven't melted this one. I've had been sitting on this one I think since last year, but it always smells really light in the clam as well. So this one's not a repurchase, but you know, that's fine. Uh Supertart's claws. So teakwood blackberry balsam. So I've got this in my bed in the kitchen at the moment. I really love this one. It is so strong on that balsam and it is a really deep, intense, tree like balsam, you know. And the blackberry just richens it and deepens it, and the teak wood as well. Like, I don't feel like there's a super strong teak wood, but there's definitely a woody vibe. 
I love it. Like it's just so 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 good for a cold winter night like tonight. Like that is what this scent I feel like was made for. It was in the Christmas collection and it is good because it's not I don't think of this one as being like Christmassy thing so much. I mean I know it's got balsam, but it's not like a Christmas tree scent, but it is a really good winter scent. So I think that's a good collection for it. Um super strong. This one is incredibly strong. I love it. Um and definitely would re repurchase that. Um I'll probably order some more the next Christmas collection. Chris Belts? Yeah, Chris Belts. That's what it's called. Uh, Piedmont from the Farmer's Daughter. So this is blue sugar, pink sugar, and pomegranate bitters. I love this set so much. Um, it's really about the pomegranate bitters to me. And pomegranate bitters, I've never encountered it anywhere else. But it's such a... Um, it's so tart and... Yeah, I get a really strong tart fruit from it. It kind of reminds me of cranberry, like a tart cranberry. But the problem is tart cranberry oils often smell like um, sour to me. So this is like my ideal. I would substitute like this pomegranate bitter scent for a lot of what other blends, like a lot of cranberries. Because I feel like this one gives me that deep, rich, tart fruity scent that people get from cranberry basically. I feel like I can smell blue sugar in here. I don't feel like I smell pink sugar. Um, yeah, I just, I, I can, it, to me this is most noticeably that pomegranate bitters, but a little bit of blue sugar. I don't know what the pink sugar is doing, but anyway, I love it. It throws really strongly. I definitely want to get this one again. I'm kind of kicking myself. There was another <sighs> pomegranate bitters one that she did, Morticia and Gomez. She, they. Um, and I think I sent that one away because I thought it was going to be too intense, but now I think I really love that, um, that pomegranate bit of scent. So, anyway. Um, Sassy Wax Melts. This is crazy for pumpkin, which is pumpkin pecan waffles, pumpkin ice cream, and sweet potato brown sugar. So this was, um, an extra that I got from, um, uh, in a de-stash from, uh, Catherine King. Because I haven't purchased from Sassy Wax Melts personally. Um, I didn't love this one. It's very sickly sweet to me. Like I feel like it smells like pumpkin. It smells like pumpkin ice cream, basically. But like kind of that artificial scented wax pumpkin, loaded up with really sweet vanilla ice cream. Yeah, so this was way too sickly and just, it wasn't like a super spicy pumpkin, but it was definitely that kind of pumpkin scent. So this one was not for me. Um, it threw medium to high, I'd say. Um, this one I would not purchase. I probably won't, I'll probably send that on to someone else. Like I just, yeah, that wasn't my type of thing. Ebony Violet Morgan Freeman. So this is uh, black currant, fire roasted marshmallows, crushed cranberry, smoldering woods, vanilla ground, cinnamon, and warm amber. I love this scent oh my god um this is just oh, it is so complex and amazing i said it before and i'll say it again this one reminds me it's in the same family of by the campfire if you're familiar with that oil it is quite different in that it is um the crushed cranberries and the black currant give it much more of that kind of tart fruit rather than the, not the black the blackberry in by the campfire is super sweet, but it's definitely sweeter than this. But I just love you get that smoldering woods and a slight spice from um, the cinnamon. You get like a sweetness from the marshmallows. It's just it's an incredible scent. So and it throws really strongly. Hundred percent will buy this again sometime. I really 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 love this one. Uh, I did a few lunar wax these days. I don't know why I haven't been reaching for my lunar wax. I think it's just kind of tucked away um, in a shared box with some other vendors. Uh, so this is Dread Pirate Roberts. This is Salty Mariner Pipe Smoke and Smoked Vanilla. This one I'm not a huge fan of. I think the challenge I have with this one, I do love these shapes. It had like a cutie little dragon on it. Um, like a sleeping dragon. So this one, alright, so my problem with this one is, is that and it's just, I think that's just my personal kind of feelings about scents. So Salty Mariner is a very strong aquatic scent. I don't seem to love aquatic scents in 
the depths of winter. Like I just, aquatic scents I think seem to be more what I want to melt. Pretty much any other season, but just winter when it's cold, those sort of fresh oceanic aquatic scents, which Salty New Mariner definitely is. It's, it's a bit cologne-like, but it's very salty and oceanic. Um, I just, I find they make me feel colder. Um, but pipe smoke and smoke vanilla are very smoky winter kind of scents. So I feel like this one never quite has a time when I want to melt it because in every other season but winter, the pipe smoke and the smoke vanilla feel too strong for me, like they're too smoky. But then in melting it now in winter, the salty mariner felt wrong. So yeah, I just feel like this is like a scent that just doesn't have a, yeah, there's just certain weird rules my nose likes to adhere to um, with what I melt and it's so weird because I melt so many different things across so many different seasons but just this one I was melting it and I was like it just feels too fresh right now so um, I don't yeah I just don't know when I will melt it again it's it throws medium I'd say um, it wasn't like super strong but it was strong enough um, not going to be a repurchase I may send this one on to someone else just because I just feel like I'm not yeah, not reaching for it, not loving it. Teddy Bees Winterfell. So this is a uh, Marshmallow Fireside Palo Santo White Birch Icy Snow Vanilla. I love Winterfell. Winterfell is a scent that I feel like came from behind with some of her Palo scents. Like, I love almost all of her Palo scents. And Winterfell I've always enjoyed, but it was never like one of my top scents from her. Um, but now it almost is. Like, I just feel like I've... Yeah, and particularly because it's just, for me, it is just an epic winter scent. So I think I do tend to forget about it a little bit in the other seasons, but I was melting it in my lounge room this week, and it was just the most amazing cozy scent. So with this one, I feel like the Marshmallow Palette Fireside and the Palo Santo actually are the kind of strongest, most enduring parts of the blend. That's not to say that you don't get white birch and icy snow. They are definitely there. So there's definitely like a kind of frosty, a frosty tree-like element in there, which make it really interesting. Like that's kind of the unique part of the blend. But they're not so strong that they make it like cold, your house feel cold and icy. The marshmallow fireside and the palo, just this warm, smoky sweetness, just completely filled by lounge room. And it was absolutely amazing. So love this. Great throw. This one was seriously just like filling my lounge room, making me absolutely just totally happy on a cold winter night. It was absolutely perfect. 100% will get more of this. It's weird. I've had a few blends with Winterfell and I haven't loved them. There's something about when it gets blended that it loses the magic. I think maybe the icy snow on white birch gets drowned out a little bit. I don't know. But anyway, the blends have not worked for me, but Winterfell on its own is just perfection. Miracle from Super Tart. So this is uh, bergamot honey, Christmas cookies, French baguette, and tonka. Um, this one I enjoy, but I will say I don't love it as much as I thought that I would. Um, but I do really like it. I just when I saw those notes, I was just I was really picturing this kind of warm, cozy French baguette kind of scent. Um, Yeah, I, I don't know if I thought maybe the bergamot... Sometimes bergamot can take like a kind of Earl Grey sort of thing. Vibe, scent, tone. Tone is probably the word I was looking for there. Um, and maybe Earl Grey would have been better. Like, yeah, I feel like maybe it needs a T-note to be what it, my head wanted it to be, right? And obviously it's not my blend, so... Um, but yeah, but it's still really lovely. The French baguette is also quite light. Like, I feel like it's more cookies and honey and bergamot. So it is a really lovely blend, but I just, yeah, I feel like I needed tea or something to make it that little bit more cozy. Um, and maybe the French baguette may be a bit stronger. Good, really good throw. I'm not sure at this stage if that's going to be a repurchase. I don't, I mean, I don't even know if it's ever going to come back because it was an advent scent. But, um, yeah, I really liked it, but it just kind of didn't quite, I had quite high expectations for it and it didn't quite get there. Um, I did, this label's turned around, I did Palo Santo with Vanilla Butter Fudge um, from L3. 
This was a great combo. I actually have this combo coming from Dessa's Home Spun Sense. I did a Builder Bar thing in Vanilla Butter Fudge and Palo Santo, and I'm really excited for that to come now because, although I haven't tried her Vanilla Butter Fudge yet, but because Vanilla Butter Fudge to me smells quite yeasty and bready, but with some sweetness. And so to me, it was just a perfect sort of bakery-like blender for the label's gone. Um, oh, um, for the for the woody like palo. So I absolutely love this combo uh, because especially because I love a good palo and bakery combo, but this one's quite different. This one is like it smells like a really good bakery palo combo, but it doesn't smell like all of those other bakery palo combos out there. So love this great throw, hundred percent. Um, I'll wait and see that Dess's bar when that comes. If that sort of hits the spot, then I'll be good. Um, if it doesn't quite, then I'll keep blending and I'll maybe request it from L3 because seriously, great combo. Uh, lemon cream pie, cheesecake, vanilla, wafer, waffle cone from L3. This one was pretty good. Yeah, this is a good lemon bakery. It's not the best I've had, so I've had lem her lemon cream pie I've had before and I've really enjoyed, but I've normally had it anchored against like a stronger bakery. So with this one, cheesecake, vanilla wafer, waffle cone, those are all kind of lighter, creamier sort of scents. Um, so the lemon cheesecake is really quite, sorry, the lemon cream pie here is quite strong. And it's a little bit too tart and sweet for me, like, um... But I know that when I've had like lemon cream pie with cookie therapy or kolaches or those really strong kind of um, denser heavy bakeries, I really enjoyed it there because it doesn't, the lemon is really kind of toned down or like well balanced. So in this combo, I feel like the lemon cheesecake was just that little bit too much, but I still did like it. I was hoping for this to be like the perfect lemon cheesecake scent, and it was close, but it wasn't quite there. It was very strong throwing. I don't know if it'll be a repurchase, it, but a repurchase, but I did like it. Sorry, I'm having to stop every now and then to blow my nose. <laughs> um, all right, so waxy taffy apresky. I think that's how you would pronounce that. Uh, so that is rich tobacco leaf, cognac, cherry, vanilla, mulberries, and cracking birch. So. I do like this blend, but it's not what I expected. And by the way, I think I say this every time, but I don't like these taffy wrappers. Mostly because, like, A, it just feels like kind of wasteful, you know, extra packaging that isn't necessary. But also, if I want to smell it cold again, well, I probably don't have to unwrap this one. That's quite strong. But sometimes I feel like I need to unwrap them to sort of, you know, smell them. So... I thought that the crack that I bought this because I went, oh, crackling birch with all those rich notes. That's going to be amazing. You can't really smell the crackling birch in here. Like, I love crackling birch. It's one of my favorite outdoorsy kind of scents. I don't smell crackling birch in this blend. So that was my first disappointment. Once I got over that, though, it is a nice blend. It's got quite a deep, dark, woody cherry vibe because it's got cherry. And then I think mulberry also has cherry notes in it. But that balances well against the tobacco leaf and the cognac. So it is a really nice kind of wooded, tobacco-y, cherry scent. Um, not like like heavy cherry, like it's more kind of woody and um, sort of sultry. But it definitely does have like a, almost more like a sour cherry. Not sour, but like it's more of a tart cherry than a sweet cherry or a Dr. Pepper cherry, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, I like it. Other than the disappointment about crackling birch, throws very strong, very strongly. I don't think I would repurchase it, but it's not a bad one. Teddy bees, and blueberry, lemon cheesecake. So this is creamy cheesecake, blueberries, vanilla, buttercream, lemon zest, and sugar cookies. I adore this one. I'm cold. I really wasn't. I thought I wasn't gonna like it, but yeah, it's got a bit of an artificial tone on cold. Like I don't know if it's the lemon or the blueberry, but something smells a bit weird. But that completely goes on warm. When you warm it up, it's just a delicious blueberry lemon cheesecake. Like, the lemon is not too little or too much. You know, it's not too sour or um, sweet. It's just a perfect lemon. Her cheesecake always just hits perfectly. Like, it's just creamy and 
delicious. Like, I just, I adore this one. Um, great throw from this one. 100% want to get it again. I've tried a few scents, trying to be like, you know, a few approximations of a blueberry lemon cheesecake. This has probably been the only one I've actually liked. Ebony Violet, uh, Pomelo and Apricot Rose. So orange peel, caramel peach, grapefruit, pineapple and vetiver. Uh, so this is like a, you know, like a perfume type. I was really disappointed. I, not in the wax, but just me with the fragrance. Because on cold, I was so excited for this one. It smelled, the notes sound amazing. Um, and the scent smells amazing cold. But on warm, it just smells like a powdery floral. And it actually gave me a headache. I had to change this one out. I really did not enjoy it. Oh man, like, I just, all of those notes sound like absolute heaven to me. But warmed up, I could not handle it. So, I don't know what happened with that, but anyway. Very strong throw, but not a repurchase. L3, Huckleberry Harvest, Wildberry Mousse, and Jelly Donut. So this, I adore. I think, I can't remember who you are, but someone did tell me that this was their blend. And I've got to say, good freaking job, because this is such a good scent. It's just this incredible sweet berry scent. Um, it does have a very slight perfume note. I think Huckleberry Harvest might have a slight perfume note, but still, it's an amazing berry. And then there's a very slight bakery from the Jelly Donut. If I was going to play around with this blend myself, I would probably do Huckleberry Harvest and Wildberry Mousse, but maybe either add zucchini bread to the whole blend or sub out the Jelly Donut for zucchini bread. I feel like... And this is just me with my Wildberry Zucchini Bread obsession, right? But I just feel like Zucchini Bread would be amazing in this. But still, it is a phenomenal blend. I just, it makes me happy. The berry, like it's just a perfect, sweet, slightly syrupy per, be, berry mix. It's perfect. Um, great throw. It's super strong. And this one was super strong. Like I melted it just about, the first time I melted it was like just after it arrived did really well um so yeah definitely would get this blend again or possibly play around with like a you know zucchini bread combo with that l3 pumpkin pecan waffles palo santo coconut cream pie vanilla wafers this one i don't love i thought i would because i love normally love pumpkin pecan waffles and palo santo um but this one has an odd note i'm not sure if it's coming from the coconut cream pie or the palace or, or the um vanilla wafers but the, yeah, there's an odd sweet note in here that just doesn't quite sit right with me. I think it's the coconut cream pie. I feel like that just doesn't fit with this. I could be wrong though, but anyway. So it's not bad, but it's not my favourite. Uh, it threw pretty well, but that one's not a repurchase. So I'm trying to seal the bag properly. It's not wanting to. Um, Rose Girl Auto Mountain. So this one is... Uh, Cider Lane, Dunk My Donut, and Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. Um, this one I do really enjoy. What am I? I'm acting like I'm, like there's a butt there. I really enjoy this one. Um, the butt, I suppose, is it mostly smells like Cider Lane. Like, on cold, I can smell a, a really delicious kind of bakery tone coming through there, like both the Dunk My Donut and the Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. I feel like when it when it's warm, uh, it's mostly Cider Lane with a hint of Pumpkin Pecan Waffles and there's no Dunk My Donut to speak of. So I really like the blend, like melting at this time of year. I'm just, this year I feel like I'm all about Cider Lane. I don't know. I know that's like a thing that everyone got obsessed with years ago, but me, you know, I'm late to every single um, trend there is. So yeah, I really like it, but I just wish that those bakery, the Dunk Up My Donut and the Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, I wish that I could smell them as strong as I can smell it here when I warm it, basically. And even here, it's still cider, cider lane is still the most dominant scent, but at least I can smell some bakery in there, but I very, very little when it warms up. Very strong throw though, this one, it threw for quite a while. Um, it still feels like I possibly would get it again because it just was a really good cider lane, slightly pumpkin pecan waffly scent. So if I think about it for just a good scent, I really like it. But 
I just, when I look at the scent description, I go, I wanted more from that. But I, I may well get that one again. L3 uh, Coconut Cream Pie, you know, Coconut Cream Espresso Ui Gooey Mellow. This one might need some more cure time. It really didn't throw very well. I had it in my lounge room. It smells really strong here. I find with scents in general, but L3 in particular, if it smells strong cold but throws poorly, then cure time will generally fix it. Like it's just, I don't know, cure time improves the throw. If it smells light on cold, um, it's usually not going to, I know this is, doesn't always hold true, but generally speaking, I find it's probably not going to do that well on warm. So that's just kind of how I found things have worked with L3 in particular. So this one I think will improve. Like it smells good. It does smell, the espresso is taking a slightly powdery kind of thing, and I don't know why. But it smells creamy and sweet, but the not too sweet. The espresso is quite strong enough that it doesn't sort of get too sweet. So it will be good if it throws, but yeah, it was very light when I tried it. So Teddy Bee's Dark Desires. So this one is uh, cashmere cream, blackberries, vanilla orchid, and cotton candy musk. This I really liked. Um... It's funny, I was thinking, for some reason I was thinking with this one that I hadn't had it very long, but it was poured in June last year, so it's a year old. Um, it's just, I think in Teddy B's years, because she her pre-orders are so infrequent, like, this one was only like, probably only like three or so pre-orders ago, um, or four I suppose, but... You know, compared to like L3 or Super Tarts, like four pre-orders ago was like a couple of months, you know, four orders ago was a couple of months ago. Um, whereas, you know, three or four pre-orders ago for Teddy B's, like that's a year ago, but it doesn't feel like that long in Teddy B's time. Anyway, rambling there. I really, really enjoy this. Um, it almost makes me feel like it's got Palo in it. I know it doesn't, but it feels like a kind of deep, smooth, slightly wooded blackberry with a really nice musky tone. Like, I just, I really enjoy it. I really like it in the bedrooms. Uh, it throws really well for me. I do want to get this one again. I really enjoy it. Steel Sugar from L3. So I melted the Solo. I love Steel Sugar. I melted up here in my office and I was just like, damn, I have to melt more Steel Sugar, like, on its own. Um, I've been sort of leaning on it in blends a little bit lately, but it is just a perfect, cozy, warm, but also somehow, it's like a bit masculine, but it's got this really fuzzy kind of warm thing going on. I think it's got a, I know it's, I always am really bad at remembering the notes of steel sugar, other than the fact I know it has a gingerbread note. And while it doesn't smell like a bakery scent, I feel like it just gets a fuzzy warmth from that gingerbread. So yeah, I love Steel Sugar. I've got more of it to melt next week um, because I actually shouldn't have started this trig tart yet. I've still got another one, so I'll finish the other trig tart next week. But yeah, I definitely am going to try to do some more Steel Sugar melting before uh, winter is over because it smells great and it throws really strongly. God, I'm like 38 minutes. I feel like I've got so much wax still to get through. Desert Times Fun Scents Roasted Pine Cone. So Fresh Pine Cone, Sweet Vanilla, Subtle Forest Backdrop. Love this. Um... I love roasted pine cones in blends, but it is fantastic on its own as well. Um, sorry, I just got distracted. There was like a bit of, because she had like a pine cone embed on it. And so there's little bits of wax in there that have kind of come off and they're just sort of floating around the bag. But just the color that they are. Actually, it might even be wax from something else. There's, there's like little grey bits of wax, and I swear it looks like mould, but it's definitely not. It's wax, but it's just freaking me out in there. Anyway, I love this. It's got like a really gourmand kind of feel to it. It reminds me a bit of like a pinecone version of vanilla balsam, just with that delicious sweet vanilla. So it's pinecone-y, but yeah, I actually melt this in the mornings when I melt bakery, because it feels more foody than it feels like a, a pinecone scent. But I love it throws really well, 100% would get more of that, um, as well as I would blend more with roasted pine cones. Sorry. Whew, okay. Um, L3 Sorting Hat. So this is, uh, smells like breakfast in the Great Hall. Sweet apples, cinnamon pecan waffles, 
and rich vanilla syrup. So I really like this one. I definitely would only melt this in the winter. Like it's very rich and syrupy. Um, yeah, it's it's syrupy apple and cinnamon. And there is a pumpkin pecan waffles, but that it's definitely there. But it's I don't know. No, it's there. I, I, I'm, I think I'm downplaying it a bit. It's definitely there, but, like, I just feel like I mostly detect the vanilla, rich vanilla syrup and apple cinnamon. So, so yeah, I, I, I really like it. Um, it throws really strongly. I don't know if I need to get much more. I'd possibly get another small bag of it. Again, it's like it's just a winter scent, but it's really nice and warm and cozy for winter. At L3... Caramel, tobacco, vanilla, cookies, pink sugar, sugar cookie royale. Um, this one, look, I feel like I'm just kind of melting it down. I just want to finish it up. It's not anything super special to me. Um, I like caramel tobacco, but here, I don't know. This one is just kind of a bakery scent. I don't really get pink sugar. It kind of smells like, I don't know, it's like just got a bit too much going on. I can't quite put my finger on anything. Like, it's a little bit smoky. It's a little bit, it's a bit bakery. It's, yeah, I'm I'm just not, yeah, I'm not crazy about that one. I can't put my finger on what it is that I don't like about it, but there's something. Um, it does throw very well. Like, I mean, L3 loaves almost always do really well for me. Um, but, yeah, that one's not a repurchase. I just don't like the scent. Uh, Luna Wax Pink and Blue. So this one is Pink Sugar Blue Sugar Pink and Blue Cotton Candy. Uh, this one was in another one of her cute little diners. She always has the most gorgeous melt pools too because she'll do the um, like the multi-layered pour there. And then there's mica as well. So you get all the colors mixed up and you get the mica and it always looks really, really beautiful in the warmer. This one, I don't know. It was light throw and it smells light now. Like, I don't remember it being like that when I got it, but it smells light now. So, a bit disappointed in that. I'm just getting a slight kind of sugary scent off it. I'm not really picking up anything else. And I definitely smelt barely anything when I warmed it. So, uh, that's disappointing. But anyway. Uh, the Pharmacist Daughter House of Death. So, this is Wood Sage and Sea Salt, Rustic Lodge and Palo Santo. This one was pretty good. I'm getting like, I feel like the word of the week is powdery. I'm getting a very slight powdery note off it. But I know when it melted, it was mostly just that sort of wood sage and sea salt and a bit of pile. I don't really know what Rustic Lodge is meant to be. It just kind of smelled deep and woody. So it was pretty good. Um, the throw was medium, medium high maybe. So it wasn't like super strong, but it was good enough in the bedrooms. Um, I don't feel like I need to repurchase that one, but you know, it was okay. Ebony Violet Breakfast Without Children. So this one is Vanilla Hazelnut Coffee Pumpkin Pecan Waffles with a Touch of Whipped Cream. I really... Yes, no, this is the one. I had to make sure I wasn't speaking out to it. And I really do like this one. Um, and I don't always love hazelnut coffee scents, but it blends really well with the Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. Like the nutty kind of notes are sort of complimentary and there's, there's a fair bit of sweetness. I feel like once upon a time I would not have liked this blend. In fact, I think I have seen it on her list before and gone because it's just sweet coffee, hazelnut, pumpkin pecan waffles just was not my thing. But now, now apparently it is. Um, so yeah, it's sweet, nutty coffee. <laughs> um, but not too strong coffee. I think that's what I like about it is the coffee is not too strong in this one. So yeah, I like this one. Um, it throws really well. I wouldn't need big quantities of it, but I might get another souffle here or there. It's, it's good. Uh, Ebony Violet Eat the Cake Anime. So this one is um, vanilla ice cream cupcakes at Tiffany's and espresso beans. This one I'm not, I don't like as much. Um, there's a... Especially on cold, there's almost like a sour note in this, and I don't know where it's coming from. On warm, it wasn't so much sour, but it still just wasn't like, it just wasn't like my favourite coffee oil. Um, some, 
Yeah, I don't know. There's just something about this one that doesn't work. I can't put my finger on what it is, which oil it is. Because theoretically, I should be familiar with all of those oils and none of them should throw smell the way that this smells. So something is just not quite right. But I don't know which oil it is. Uh, it throws well, but yeah, that one's not a repurchase. Teddy Bee's Tears of Leaf. So I only just started this um, souffle and this was poured in... This was poured two years ago, so that's bad form of me. I did accidentally purchase two of these and I sort of melted my way through the first souffle and I don't know, just didn't, sort of avoided the second one. I remember when I first got this one, I was a little bit disappointed in it. I don't, I think because I'd had like another sort of girly, perfumey Palo Santo and I loved that one from a different vendor. And so this one just didn't quite hit the mark. But this time around I melted it and holy cow, this was amazing. Um, whether it's cured into something else or just my, probably more likely, my scent preferences have now just shifted or I, I'm just in more of a position to appreciate this one more. So first up, this is probably the strongest I've ever smelled Tiff's Palo Santo. This one is very strong Palo and it is amazing. But then there's just a really beautiful sweetness to it. It's, it is kind of perfumey, um, but because the parlo is so heavy, it's not like super perfume-like. I don't detect vanilla lace. Like, I know it's there, but yeah, like you don't smell strawberries or vanilla lace. You just smell a nice girly sweetness, but just with a really strong, amazing parlo. So I really enjoyed this. It threw super strongly like I was really impressed for something that has sat there for two years um I was worried like when I realized the date that's the thing I feel like with some of my teddy bees I'm not realizing how old some of it actually is um but when I saw the date I was a bit like oh you know I need to use that one up but seriously this one is prime right now um so yeah definitely we'll get this one again one day love that L3 Cinnamon Sugar Coffee Bean Zucchini Bread Adipose. This was really nice. I knew it would be. I love her cinnamon sugar. It's a really yummy bakery cinnamon. And this, I feel like you don't get coffee bean too strongly. This, to me, is cinnamon sugar zucchini bread mostly. Uh, adipose is like a marshmallowy scent, so it's a little bit of sweetness from the marshmallow and just the coffee vibe through the back, like, I mean, it's definitely there. It's definitely got coffee, but yeah, it's not like in-your-face coffee. So if you like a, like a good sort of bakery spice bakery um, with a bit of coffee, this is a good one. Threw really strongly as well. Um, it's interesting because I got this one in the same order as this espresso coffee coconut cream mallow one. And the mellow one didn't throw when the, that one did really well. So I have no idea why that is. But anyway. Uh, a Vintage Chic Sins Cookie Monster. So this is doughy sugar cookies and buttercream frosting dipped in icy sweet milk. So I've tried a few milk and cookie type scents and haven't loved them. I think I do really like Cookie Monster though. I think this one is my personal preference for those like milk and cookie type scents. Yeah, it's some of I feel like some of them have had a little bit too much spice in the cookie dough. I don't know, but this one is just it smells like delicious cookies and milk. Only one thing I'd say I did melt this down in my lounge room, and it's possible this was poured in late May, and sometimes VCS does need a long cure time for me, so it's possible that maybe I just needed to let it sit longer or melt it in a smaller room. But the throw was medium. It did throw, so it was probably medium, like a solid medium. Um, so I, it threw, but I wanted more from it. So I might melt it in like a smaller space next time. But still, really good. I do think I will get more Cookie Monster. I like that a lot. Teddy Bee's Balsam Beach. So this is Vanilla Balsam Ocean Drift with a touch of sea salt. I love this. This is possibly my favorite Vanilla Balsam blend. It is amazing. It is distinctly Vanilla Balsam, but just the extra freshness and saltiness. It's just, it's so good. And I can melt this one all year round because the vanilla balsam kind of makes it cozy for winter, but the driftwood and the sea salt make it fresh, but not like overly fresh. It's not like, it doesn't have like oceanic notes. It's just woody and 
slightly sea salty. So for me, that means that it's still doable in winter, but I could, yeah, I could easily melt this in the warmer months as well. Uh, great throw from this, 100%. I mean, I've got a bit now because um, I bought some in a de-stash, so I think I'm okay for that set for now, but still love it. Winter Island um, from Teddy Bees. So this one is vanilla balsam, coconut, sandalwood type, and salty sea air. This one's really good as well. I prefer Balsam Beach over Winter Island, but Winter Island is really nice too. They are definitely cousin scents, um, but this one, the coconut sandalwood comes out a bit more. I'm not super familiar with coconut sandalwood, but it just smells like a kind of smoother woody scent. So yeah, I definitely prefer Balsam Beach, but this one is very good as well. I had it in my bedrooms. I loved it. Um, it was a great bedroom scent. Similar thing too. I can melt this one all year round. Um, yeah, great throw. Same thing again. I've got a bit now to last me, but I would get it again. Ebony, not Ebony. I always get Ebony Violet and Empire Alchemy mixed up. En Empire Alchemy Storm in a Teacup. So... This one is um, blackberry sage, black tea, pipe tobacco caramel, and a hint of salty sea air. This is this is really good. Um, she does a lot of good blends with black tea and pipe tobacco and stuff like that. I would say that this one maybe isn't my favorite, but it is still very good. Maybe a different blackberry to blackberry sage might have made this better for me, but... Yeah, I still really like it. It's still a really good sort of, um, yeah, just a really good mix with that black tea. Her black tea is quite strong as well. Um, I get good throw from this one. I don't know if it has been a repurchase, so this is like the second or third time I bought it. I don't know if I need to repurchase it after this, but I have enjoyed it. Ebony Violet, I should change my pod. So this is strawberry pound cake type, warm sugar cookies with sweet frosting and birthday cake. This I love. It's one, one of my favorite strawberry bakery scents it's just ah oh, it's just so well blended it's like strawberry pound cake is definitely the most noticeable part of it but there's just a delicious bakery goodness underneath it like it really smells like a strawberry frosted cake or something really really good so I really like it I get great throw from it I have got another souffle after this it's already been a repurchase I just love it um, this one is becoming a staple for me. Um, L3 Strawberry Pound Cake, Vanilla Cookies, Vanilla Butter Fudge, and Vanilla Bean Noel. I love this. Um, it's just, uh, I think it's, it's really the Vanilla Butter Fudge that, I'm sorry, I always kick the stand and I know I shouldn't, anyway. Because the Vanilla Butter Fudge, again, it has that kind of, it has like a bready, yeasty tone to me. So, I feel like in these blends that could be like over sickly, over sweet, it just anchors it beautifully. Like it's got a sweetness, so it's not like jarringly yeasty, but it just adds a depth and like a, yeah, like an egg, like a solid bakery, like for a scent that's meant to, that isn't, it's more of like a dessert treat, vanilla butter fudge to actually like bakery, like you know, I think a bakery is like breads and cakes and stuff. Vanilla fudge is not a bread or a cake. But I feel like it adds more of a bready tone than a lot of bakery scents do. So, and that's just me. It's probably just my nose, but maybe I'm reading vanilla butter fudge completely wrong. But that's what it smells like to me. And yeah, so this just has a nice strawberry pop on, on that vanilla bakery deliciousness. So, I love this. It throws very strongly. Um... I had it in my bedroom. It did really well. Um, I reckon it's probably going to be... I feel like this is a loaf I'm potentially going to move through kind of fast. Like, I just feel like when I when I want strawberry bakeries, this one is appearing in my picks every time. So, love that. Uh, Palo Santo Don't Cross Dreams from L3. So, uh, and the Don't Cross Dreams is Adipose, Vanilla Cookies, Vanilla Wafer, Vanilla Ice Cream. So, I really enjoy this. Um, I feel like I didn't love it this time as much as I have previous times. Um, I feel like the Don't Cross Dreams is a lot stronger than I remember it. And I like Don't Cross Dreams, but I really want Heavy Palo at the moment. So yeah, this was a little bit too sweet for me this time. The Don't, the Don't Cross Dreams is just 
I don't know, right now, because I think I had the same thing when I melted Don't Cross Dreams on its own. It's just, it's, it's a really nice vanilla, like a vanilla scent. Um, but I feel like the vanilla ice cream, maybe I'm just getting too sensitive to vanilla ice cream. I don't know in my old age, but it was just a touch too sweet. But I did still like it. It threw well. I don't know at this stage if I'm going to repurchase it. I have another bitty betty after that because I was in love with that one. And it might just be my nose. I might fall in love with it again. Who knows? Ebony Violet Blackberry Vanilla Balsam. So this is Juicy Blackberries Warm Vanilla Balsam Fir and Pine Trees. I love this. This is one of the first vanilla balsam scents I fell in love with. Um, her juicy, when she says juicy blackberry, she means juicy blackberry. You get a good hit of that vanilla balsam and just the juicy, delicious blackberry blends so well with it. I get great throw from it. I have another souffle. I have already repurchased that one. Super Tarts Insidious. I don't know what this is called now. It's got some other name. Um, I feel like this one didn't need to be renamed. Like, I'm sure Insidious is something like horror movie themed, but it's also just a word, you know. Anyway, um, this one is uh, like vetiver, cotton candy, something. It's like beetroot vetiver and cotton candy, basically. It's a really unique and awesome blend. This is one of the first super tart scents that I fell head over heels for. I don't melt it as much as I used to, like, because I have melted a lot of beetroot vetiver in my time now, and so I'm just... Where it used to be like, whoa, that is like an amazing, unique scent. Now I'm like, yeah, I like it, but it's, you know, um, it's nothing like crazy unique to me anymore. So I definitely don't reach for this one as much, but it is still a really nice scent. That's really hard to describe. You get a lot of beechwood vetiver, but the sweetness from the cotton candy, it's just really good. This one always throws super strongly. Like this is from September 2020 and it's still going super strong. Um... I think this year in the Fright Night pre-order, I will order like one clam of this. I don't feel like I need a huge amount. I still think, you know, this these donuts last forever as well. Like I've got one, two, three, four. Like I've still got loads of pieces in here. So I definitely don't need a huge amount. But um, yeah, maybe one more clamshell of it this year will do the trick. Dessa's Mad as a Hatter. So this one I've had for quite a while as well. This one has like an orange tea crumpets. I, it may have the orange tea and crumpets oil in it that I like. Um, but it's also got uh, like a chai tea. And I don't know if it's my nose or if it's how the scent's cured. But I didn't like it this time around. At first I thought it had like a sweet aniseed -y note. But I realised that's the chai tea I was smelling. And I just, I don't love chai tea and wax. Like... There's only one vendor who's really been able to blend chai tea in a way that um, I've really enjoyed. So that one threw really strongly, but I'm not going to get that again. I might not even melt that again. Like, I just really did not enjoy that chai tea note. Uh, Martha's, uh, Cobblers with Martha from Vintage Chic Scent. So strawberry cobbler, blackberry cobbler, peach cobbler, zucchini bread, vanilla butter fudge, cupcakes, and Tiffany's. Uh, this one, I'm not sure if... It was. It needs to cure more, or if I shouldn't have melted it in my lounge room, or both. Probably both. But this one was quite light, so I'm a bit. I'm kind of kicking myself because now I only have like half of the bar left. And I really, I love that Martha Stewart scent. So um, this, yeah, this sounded like it would be really good, but I could barely smell it. What I could, sm of what I could smell of it was mostly like a peach cobbler with a bit of that sort of Martha Stewart bakery blend. So. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't feel like I could detect strawberry and blackberry there, um, but the peach cobbler wasn't that strong either. Anyway, I'm going to let it sit for a bit and then I'll probably melt it in a smaller room before I sort of pass final judgment on that one. Uh, Ebony Violet After Dark, so bergamot, lavender, petals, fresh linen, Egyptian jasmine, white florals, coconut milk and cashmere. This one I didn't mind. I wasn't sure I'd love it on cold. Yeah, it has a very powdery cashmere kind of thing going on. But I feel like it wasn't anything special or warm. Like, it was just kind of a vaguely nice, perfumey sort of scent. A little bit floral, but quite, um, like, coconut cream, like, coconut perfumey creamy. That probably doesn't make sense, but anyway. Um, so, yeah, I don't... It definitely smelled better warm than it did cold, but still not anything that I was crazy about. I think it threw pretty well, but I wasn't paying that much attention to it. Um, I think I put it on after I took out that um, apricot and pomelo rose scent that I really didn't like. I think that's what I put it in instead. 
That's Melbourne Shop Twilight Wood. So sweet woods, berries, and musk. I really enjoy this. Every time I melt this, I feel like I've had it in blends and it, I don't know, I just never really detected what it was or whether I liked it in blends, but on its own, it's really nice. Like, it's like a perfumed berry woody tone. I, I just, I don't know, I really enjoy it. Um, I get really good throw from it. And I reckon I would probably get it again. It's good. Um, I know I normally like to be finished by the hour. I'm close. I don't have that much more. I did do a full seven days of melting, which I don't normally do because I had um, annual leave this week. So there's more. There's, there is more scent than I normally would have. Uh, Lunar Wax Headless Horseman. So this one is uh, red maple and oud wood. I love this. Um, red maple can be very sweet. I've heard some people. I think it's radiant red maple, and I've heard some people describe it as smelling like bubblegum. It doesn't smell like bubblegum to me, but I get where people are coming from. It is very sweet. But blended with the oud wood kind of adds like a, that spiced wood tone to the sweetness, and they just blend together really well. Like, they balance each other out and offset each other perfectly. So, I love this. Uh, it threw... It was not the strongest. It was like a solid medium in the kitchen. Um, but I would still, like, I don't know if I'd get this blend from Luna again. I don't, like, I don't follow Luna that closely, so I don't know if I'm going to purchase from her again. Um, but I would do, a, a, like, a Radiant Red Maple Oud Wood blend from someone else. That would be really good, I think. Uh, Empire Alchemy Grey Days. So, White Woods, Palo Santo, Leather, Vetiver, Marshmallows, and Amber. Um, I love this scent, but it's... I feel like this one loses its performance really quickly because I'm melting it in here and I can smell like a kind of smoky woodiness but I can't really smell what makes this blend really special yeah I definitely feel like this one has died down a lot so it's it's not even a year old like maybe it's never performed well. I don't know anyway it's it's light medium I'd say so it's a beautiful blend but just yeah probably not a repurchase I have purchased it before and I'll see how I go with the rest of that donut, but just right now, like, I'm just not, it's not, it's just not. Rose Girls Tea and Cakes, so I just melted this on its own up here. I love tea and cakes. Rose Girls has a really good one. It's just this zingy, kind of lightly bakery tea scent. I really love it. It always throws really well. I love blending it. Rose Girls just has a great one. I mean, tea and cakes is just a strong scent. I feel like it's a really hard one to mess up, but... Um, Rose Girls has always done very consistently well for me. Two more scents. Uh, Pharmacist Daughter Isaquina. So this is Blue Sugar Pomegranate Shaven Haircut. So again, loving the pomegranate scents. Pomegranate Bitters seems to be my favourite pomegranate oil, but I do enjoy just pomegranate on its own. It's, it's a, Pomegranate is on its own is sweeter than Pomegranate Bitters. Pomegranate Bitters is very tart. Um... So this one was good, but I definitely prefer the pomegranate bitters. Um, I get a strong sweet pomegranate and then a bit of a blue sugar. I don't know about the shave and a haircut. A uh, bit of maybe a slightly cologne note, but I feel like I get that mixed up with blue sugar. Uh, that one throws pretty well. I don't know if I need to get that one again, but definitely anything with pomegranate bitters has my name on it. And then the last thing this week was Eau de Mer. So this was uh, from Ebony Violet. Sea salt, driftwood, juniper, lavender, and vanilla. I don't know if I remember this one very well. Yeah, I can't really pass a verdict on this. It smells light. I feel like it probably threw light, but I don't remember. So I'll talk about that one next time because I just, I don't want to say it was light when maybe it wasn't. And maybe I just didn't, you know, visit the room or whatever. But anyway, um, that's it. That is everything I melted. That went way long. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm quite tired. So, um, yeah, I hope you're all doing really well. I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye.